Hi, boys and girls. Ready for a fairy tale costume? Click on play and join the fun with Kitty Kira. Hi, Kira. What are you doing wearing rain boots? It's not raining here. You look like Puss in Boots. <laughs> you don't know that character? Great! We can dress you up as him! But first, we need to take those boots off! Let's get to it! First thing we'll do is dye your hair! Close your eyes, Kira! It's important to get all your body! But for the stripes, we'll use a lighter tone! Time to close your eyes! Puss in Boots was really smart! Did you know that? Just like you! <laughs> And same as you, he was very elegant. That's why he wore a hat, like this. He used it so people thought he was part of the high society. And so he could scam rich people. Yes, stealing is bad. But don't worry, even if we dress you up as Puss in Boots, you'll still be a good kitty. <laughs> Luckily, at the end of the story, everyone is happy. But let's finish dressing you up. We're only missing the boots. What do you think, Kira? Do you like it? You are the new Puss in Boots! <laughs> Hi, Kira. Hi, Alex. Hi, Max. I can tell Alex is really surprised about Max's costume. <laughs> Dressed up as a tiger, you remind me of a character in the Jungle Book story. If you want, we can tell the story while we dress you all up. Also, I think Kira had already dressed as a panther, one of the characters. <laughs> Ready, kiddos? This is the story of a boy who Kira Bagheera, the Black Panther, found in the jungle. Kira Bagheera thought she'd take the boy with the friendly wolf pack. They named him Mowgli and raised him as one of their own. While she made sure nothing bad happened to him, Mowgli learned to live in the jungle and made lots of animal friends. But not all of them were friendly. Ka, the snake, and especially Shere Khan, the tiger, were obsessed with getting rid of Mowgli. The leader of the wolf pack decided there was only one way to keep the boy safe. They had to take them to the man village, where he'd be with those of his own kind. Wow, you are definitely Kira Bagheera now, the panther! <laughs> Mowgli didn't understand why he had to leave his home, where he lived with all his loved ones. So, he thought he'd rather escape than be taken to the man village. And he went into the jungle, where he found a nice bear called Baloo, who loved dancing and singing. And together, they ate lots of honey. But suddenly, some monkeys captured Mowgli and took him to their king, who thought that Mowgli, as he was a man, could tell him how to make fire. Luckily, Bagheera and Baloo rescued him and explained that he had to go back with the humans since the tiger Shere Khan was looking for him. I'm not leaving the jungle, the boy yelled. And once again, he went into the jungle. Do you want to hear the rest of the story with Kira Bagheera and Shere Khan, Max? Bagheera and Baloo looked for the boy everywhere and they finally found him confronting the frightening tiger. Suddenly, a storm broke out, and even though Shere Khan attacked Baloo, Mowgli grabbed the branch of a tree that had just set on fire because of a lightning strike. He shooed the tiger away with it. Fire was Shere Khan's biggest fear. In the end, Mowgli understood that he should be with humans. If not, he'd be putting his friends in danger. And from that day on, he had a new home. But he would never forget his true family, his jungle family. Hi, Alex. Hi, Lily. Those toys are so cool. They remind me of the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. All right, I see. 
You have these toys because you want me to tell you the story, right? <laughs> All right then, Lily will become Goldilocks. And Alex will be a bear. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a house in the woods where a family of bears lived. Every morning before breakfast, they would go out for a stroll. One of those days, during this morning stroll, a little girl came to their house. Ooh. It's a girl with blonde and curly hair, everyone called Goldilocks. <laughs> this is a beautiful house. I wonder who lives here. Let's have a look, the girl said. Goldilocks went into the bear's house and sat on one of the couches. But since the comfiest one was that of the baby bear, she decided to use that one, and she was so unlucky that she broke it. Then she went to the kitchen, where she found three bowls with porridge in them. But since Papa Bear's was too hot and Mama Bear's was too salty, she ended up eating the baby bear's porridge. Lastly, Goldilocks went to the bedroom, where she found three beds. Wow, Lily, you look great as Goldilocks. <laughs> How about we dress Alex now as a bear and we can finish the story together? <laughs> great! <laughs> Have you been paying attention to the story, Alex? All right, let's dress you up as the baby bear. <laughs> After having the baby bear's porridge for breakfast, Goldilocks went to the bedroom where she found three beds. And since she was tired, she decided to sleep in one of them. But since Papa Bear's was too tall and Mama Bear's was too hard, she decided to sleep in the Baby Bear's. It was the comfiest one. In the meantime, the Bear family was done with their morning stroll. And so when they got back home, they found that someone had broken Baby Bear's chair. And when they went to the kitchen, they found that someone had eaten Baby Bear's breakfast. <laughs> You're such a cute bear, Alex. <laughs> Let's go finish the story with Goldilocks Lily. <laughs> Lastly, the Bear family went to the bedroom and found Goldilocks sleeping in Baby Bear's bed who woke up at that exact moment and ran away. And she never ever again went into the house of strangers to use their stuff. Yay! Instead, she learned how to enjoy what she already had without feeling jealous of what other people have. Yay! And so they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Hi, Alex. Oops, you've left a trail of bread. This reminds me of Hansel and Gretel's tail. Do you want to listen to it while you dress up as them? Yay! Hansel and Gretel were the kids of a woodcutter and his wife. <laughs> they were a very poor family. And even though the parents loved their kids very much, they couldn't even afford to feed them. So they felt forced to leave them in the woods, hoping a wealthier family found them and could take care of them. But Hansel was very smart and left a trail of bread so they'd know how to get back home. The problem was that pigeons ate all the bread. So Hansel and Gretel did end up lost in the woods. Luckily, they saw an amazing house made of sweets and chocolate. So they went there and relieved their hunger, eating lots of candy. Yay! But wait there, Alex. Even if you are already dressed as Hansel, the tale isn't over yet. Yay! Have you been listening, Lily? <laughs> Hansel and Gretel were so happy eating the candy but they didn't know that they had fallen in the trap of an evil witch who locked Hansel up to stuff him up with sweets and then eat him. On the other hand, 
She treated Gretel as her slave, forcing her to make all the meals Hansel had to eat. Every day, the witch checked how fat Hansel was getting, but he would trick her every time by letting her touch a bone instead of his finger. <laughs> Days went by, and they were still trapped there. So Gretel had an idea so they could escape. One day, the witch told Gretel to get the oven ready to make some bread. But the girl said she didn't know how to do it. The witch yelled, Get out of my way, you silly girl! I'll take care of it myself! And when the witch put her head inside the oven, Gretel pushed her all the way in, closed the door, and locked the evil witch inside. Hansel and Gretel hugged each other when they realized they had put an end to that horrible situation. And also, among the witch's belongings, they found boxes full of gems. Do you want to listen to the rest of the story with Alex? In the end, the two kids found their parents again. But this time, thanks to the gems, they wouldn't need to separate again because of the money. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs> if you had fun with this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> and join our great Toon Toon Games family.